ഹമദുഹുസ്തുഹുസ്തുഹുസ്തുഹുസ്തുഹുസ്തുഹുസ്തുഹുസ്തുഹുസ്തുഹുസ്തുഹുസ്തുഹുസ്തുഹുസ്
which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never does, but something very easy and very clear to understand for even a very simple-minded person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly addresses the people who believe. Do not be among the people who forget Allah. Do not, do not be among the people who forget Allah. Allah will make you forget your own self. You forget Allah, Allah will make you forget your own self. The living tafsir of this, the living meaning of this, we are able to see around us, all around us, living in this society. People are there who get up from the moment that they, are, they, that they leave their bed, even before that, to the moment after they come back to their bed, after they, f they are trying to fall asleep but they are not able to, because they have forgotten Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah has made them forget their own self. So what happens is that their life is constantly, constantly going around in amassing more and more. How can I get more and more? How can I become richer? How can I get more things in life? Or they are worried about some harm or some situation that might be facing them and how can I protect myself from it? This is what is when Allah makes one forget about their own self. This is the punishment of forgetting about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is, of course, relates to spirituality, but also something very easy to understand. When Allah is the one who has created you, and Allah is the one who has promised your sustenance, and Allah is the one with whom is your real abode forever, and you forget about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you take Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of this equation, na'udhu billah, how can you ever find peace? How can you ever find success in life? How can you ever be at peace? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is challenging people. You forget Allah, Allah will make you forget your own self. You will think I'm doing great things and you will not even know what is good for you and what is bad for you. You will think that I'm doing great, but inside you will be hurting your own self without knowing. As if somebody who has forgotten about their own self. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly says, be, be very mindful that the people who are going to Jannah and the people who are going to Hellfire are totally different, are very different. It is, not, it is simply not possible that a person is going to Jannah and a person is going to Hellfire and they will look the same or they will think the same or they will deal and interact with people the same way. لا يستوي أصحاب النار وأصحاب الجنة. Very clear words. The people of hellfire and the people of Jannah are not equal. Cannot be equal. They are not equal in any way, at any level, at any time. So therefore, my dear respected brothers, when we have said لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله, we have become Muslims. Now, either we say نعوذ بالله that we are not Muslims. حاشا هو كلا. That we do, not, we do not agree, we do not accept to this lifestyle, to this submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, na'uzu billah. Or, we know it fully well, that there is no refuge, no harbor for us, except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and being mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Having Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our mind all the time. All the time. Remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time. Thinking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in what we do, in what we think, in what we decide, in the choices that we make in our life. Before a Muslim, when he gets up, he, he, he gets up and he stands before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he presents all of his day, complete day before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we call ourselves a Muslim, do we do that? If we don't, do we deserve to call ourselves a Muslim? Are we the ones who are mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or are we the ones who have forgotten about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? A Muslim throughout the day keeps on running back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he knows, she knows that Allah is my only refuge. Everything that I'm doing, everything that I'm doing, my profession, my skills, 
my meetings, my capacities, how, you know, I feel some days that I'm so much better than others. On other days, I feel that everyone else is better than me and I'm a nobody. All of that has meaning only to an extent. When it comes to the reality of the matter, it becomes meaningless. There's people who never went to school. There's people who cannot speak a word of language and they are millionaires. And there's people who are PhDs and doctors and very smart people and very poor. This world, whom will it be given to and whom will it be withheld from? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who gives and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who holds it back. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who withholds it. So my dear respected brothers, a Muslim lives in this very world and with the difference is that a Muslim lives with Allah in their mind. They start with Allah, they end with Allah. Throughout the day they think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a Muslim. This is a person who's headed to Jannah. A person who forgets about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are the people who are headed to hellfire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has very clearly said it in the Quran. You forget about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will make you forget about your own benefit, your own good and your own bad. You will think that something is good for me. In reality, Allah has made you forget about what is really good for you. And in the hellfire, you are going to end up. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. So my dear respected brothers, it is very important. It is very important. Ramadan, other fasts during the month, coming to the masjid, the day of Jumu'ah, Friday, all of these are reminders for us. These are reminders that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed in our lifestyle, in the lifestyle of a Muslim. If you forget, you will be reminded here. Give yourself time to think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Recall who your, who, who, what your reality is. Come back to your rea reality and think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask yourself this question. How is my day going? How is my week going? How is my life going? How is my year going? How is my life going? Think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and act to change it. If things are going in the right direction, if you are mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, before whatever you do, you think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you are in great shape. If your actions are directed, judged by the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you are in good shape. But if the world has grown too much over you, if the benefits of the world and the harms of the world, apparent ones, they are dictating your actions and the choices that you are making in this world, then may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. One who is forgetful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no qualification to stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One who lives this life, this short life of 40, 50, 60, 70 years maybe, and then they live in forgetfulness. Imagine their state when they stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which everyone has to do, which everyone has to, has to face. Stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when Allah asks us, what did you do? Why did you do this? We have no answers. We, are, we, have, no, we have no refuge. So my dear respected brothers, we need to reflect. We need to reflect. We need to think about our lifestyle. Which direction are we going? And we need to reflect about how much influence does Allah have in our life. Do I do what my Allah says? Also, one practical way of getting this realization in your life is to quietly, constantly get in the habit of talking to Allah. No matter what you are doing, no matter where you are, Get in the habit of talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa it is reported about him and his sahaba that they were so much in the habit of talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it was hard for them to stop doing that when they were relieving themselves, when they were in the restroom. So they were told that they can do so in, the, do so in their heart but not with their tongues. When they are relieving themselves. Look at our state. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala improve our affairs. So a, 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 a great way of doing it is that we constantly, quietly, secretly keep on talking to our secret friend Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
keep on talking to him, keep on relying to him. Ya Allah, this situation is coming forth. I am afraid, I am scared, this is coming forth. I don't know how to deal with it. How should I deal with it? Help me in this. Something goes according to plan, something that pleases us, and this is the easiest and the most pleasurable way of talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, thank you. Ya Allah, all thanks to you. When you start, when you press that button and the car, the car's engine comes to life, thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you get food on your table and you are able to pick up that morsel of food and put it in your mouth, quietly thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you can smell the food from the kitchen, thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, you have given me food today. Ya Allah, I am sitting in this house, I have roof over my head and I am smelling good fragrance coming from the kitchen. Ya Allah, so many people do not have that in their life. Ya Allah, I am thankful to you. Ya Allah, I am thankful to you. When you are able to raise your one step, Ya Allah, I am able to walk. You made me able to walk. When you have a car, when you look at your car, say, Ya Allah, I am thankful to you that you gave me a car. There are so many people who are, who are so much, I am so much better in life than more, many people. Ya, every single thing, consciously practice that Ya Allah, I am, I am being thankful to you. Ya Allah, I am thankful to you. Ya Allah, all thanks to you that this happened. This is the first step and the easiest and the most pleasurable. That Ya Allah, whatever you have, think about little things. And when, when one starts to think about the blessings and the mercies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you start counting my blessings, you will not be able to finish that count. This is very real. Only from here to here, you start counting the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will not be able to finish it and the day will end. And there's, there will still be many more that you will not even know about. So therefore, one very easy, one very pleasurable way of connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, becoming mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is to start thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Over every single thing that you might even not think is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's anything special, give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even if you are in a calamity, even if somebody is going through a hard time in their life, they look around, there will be people who will be much worse off than them. There will be people who will be in a much worse shape than them. Everybody has many blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala going on. We can think about them and we can start thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. About this aspect of connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, number one, this is the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anishkurli waliwali, they thank me and your parents. Also, there is a promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that when you, Allah has promised, by all means, when you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah increases His blessings for you. So those things that you don't even consider a blessing, you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will see, you will experience for yourself the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your life will become plentiful, full of abundance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the understanding of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a very live and active connection with Himself. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create the best of effects of what was said and heard upon the speaker and the listener. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.